Hey guys! So I was so excited when Catherine told me she was coming to visit and then immediately I was like, oh no, please do not look in my closets or anything we organized together. Oh. I'm hiding behind the door. Not how we left it. I call it organized YouTube organized. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> it looks perfect on camera when you first do it, but it totally needs maintenance. Yes, and I'm glad you guys get to see that. So today, <laughs> Catherine's gonna help us with five tips on staying organized after you have organized. Just do not pan down, whatever. No, <laughs> hey. <laughs> So the first tip is to expect maintenance. Okay. It is not your fault. The system has not failed you. <laughs> Look at Ford snack. Some nice sandpaper. If you touch a spot five times a day, like your pantry, yeah. expect at the end of every month to have to go in and address things. Mm. And less frequently access places, like underneath of your sink, you can probably get away with once a year. And speaking of, the kids' bathroom has held up so well. I didn't do anything that looks like this. Except for the top drawer, because we use it so much. Uh oh. Oh. Number two, evaluate systems. Mm. I noticed in your hall closet that there were lots of lids <laughs> off of the first aid stuff. Oh yeah. You, well, you know, my kids, when they're hurt, I'm like rushing in there, grabbing things. I don't have time to put it back on. So ditch the system. Take the lids away and just mm. don't plan to put anything else above it. So it's going to actually really work for you. Yeah. And then in the pantry, we love the tiered system and the cereal. But with the snacks, we found that we never spent the time to refill them. And so you can get rid of them, and now you have space for something else. Yes. Number three, assess your clutter. Not exactly a clear counter, but so much better than it was before. I feel like there's a lot of systems that are still working here, like your little change collector, yeah. you've got your hand sanitizer, <laughs> and I really like that you have some party hats here. You're ready for anything. <laughs> I noticed that you had some sunscreen sitting out on the countertop. It's always there, by the way. <laughs> and allow the clutter you have to tell you the organizing systems you still need to create. Yeah, so I think we're gonna move them to the shoe area because we're always grabbing it when we're going. Perfect. And then I've noticed I have a lot of stuff on the floor in the closet. So avoid <laughs> using the floor as a dumping ground. I saved these. I was like, what if we need them for an arts and crafts episode? I blame what's up on floor. And put those things away so that way the space is clear and you can always access it. I'm doing it, Catherine. Tip four, maintain supplies. In my closet, I ran out of those awesome clear shoe bins. And those are so easy to stack up and keep yeah. on hand. And I noticed you needed a place to keep all of your labels and your yes, pens. Yes, because ironically, I could never find them. So now I have like an organizing bin. Number five, save 20%. So the easiest way to keep something organized for the longest mm -hmm. amount of time is to have 20% free space. So you're not packing things full to the yes. brim. Hard to do in a closet. But then you have to be realistic. You're gonna get more stuff in. And so that's definitely a rule I'm using moving forward. I love it. All right, Catherine, well, I'm actually really excited to go back and do the refresh. All right, we're in the process of maintaining. It's going great. Tess is more accessorizing, but that's okay. Thank you so much for coming. You're so Aww. welcome. This is so fun. I will see you guys next week. Bye. Bye. Ooh, sparkly. Sparkly. <laughs> We're supposed to be organizing, Tess. <laughs>